After a classified briefing, Senator Kennedy, Schumer, Blumenthal, and Cotton all answered questions for the camera. Senator Lindsey Graham escaped. He did not want to talk about what he heard in that classified briefing room. And so there was a lot of reaction. We have Blumenthal, who's going to be the first person who kicks it off for us. Now, something interesting was happening here today. The media was basically perched up outside of the room where all of the senators were exiting. So you can see this kind of uh, horde of journos just surrounding the senators and they're walking by one by one and they're flagging them down. Hey, can we get your, hey, 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 Senator, can you stop for just a quick minute? We need to ask you a question. And so we're gonna go through several of them as they're making their way through, starting with Mr. Blumenthal. What's your general assessment? Like, do you feel like you have a better understanding of what these objects are? are you I, I have a better understanding, but the American people need and deserve to know more. There is a lot of information presented to us this morning that could be told to the American people without any harm to sources or methods or our national security. And the American people need to know more so they'll have more confidence in our national security. As I've said after so many of these briefings, our adversaries often know what we know. We know they know. The American people, they the know, we know they don't know, and they deserve to know more. And so I think that there's a need for greater transparency wow. and more facts to the American people. With these this is a Democrat. Blumenthal is a Democrat, and he's saying there needs to be more transparency. So he's sort of you know, saying, hey, Biden people, you're not doing such a hot job. He's leaving this classified briefing, says we got we got to tell you, America, more about what's going on. And we're not allowed to do that. Objects are a threat to With these objects, are you concerned about the safety of America? I am not in any way afraid that we are under a threat of attack or physical harm to our homeland. That's my personal feeling. But the American people need to be reassured with more facts. Is there a you want the Biden administration too? And so he makes it out of there and he says, well, transparency is lacking in this case, obviously. And the Biden people and the administration should be telling us more rather than faking like this is aliens or something. We also have Tom Cotton. Some people have said that maybe he could be a potential presidential candidate at some point. Very upset. Tom Cotton says enough already. The president needs to come out and speak to America about the situation. Commander in chief, right? Somebody who's supposed to assure Americans that they are in command at the White House. So. As usual, we had another classified briefing in which we learned nothing that I didn't already know as a member of the Intelligence Committee and Armed Services Committee, or for that matter, that one couldn't learn from reading your newspapers and watching your news channels. That's why I want to or stress again, live stream. President Biden owes the American people an explanation. President Biden should speak on camera directly to the American people today. Justin Trudeau gave an explanation to the people of Canada over the oh. weekend. Surely... We're not in a world where Justin Trudeau is a more decisive and forceful leader than the American president. Yikes. Is that the reality we're living in? Justin Trudeau is a stronger leader than Joe Biden. Oh man, that's bad. I appreciate the military coming to brief us. I appreciate the intelligence community briefing Congress in a classified setting, but Americans are worried. They're concerned. They're interested and they have a right to know why President Biden directed the actions that he did over the last week. So I urge once again, President Biden to come today, speak directly on camera to the American people, just as past presidents have in, in similar moments. Like Ronald Reagan explained what had happened when Soviet Russia shot down a Korean Airlines flight in 1983. Like George Bush spoke example. to the American people after Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait in 1990. President Biden needs to explain Another to the American example. people yeah. why he has been doing what he's been doing. Senator, based she on what you've heard, what's your, what's your general assessment of the threat level? What have you learned? Do you feel comfortable now? Or? Well, what you've been reporting is what we've been hearing as well, and it's contradictory. On the one hand, the administration is saying, we don't yet know what these last three objects are, and we don't want to characterize until we recover them. But on the other hand, it wasn't a threat. Both of those things can't be true. So that's why it's urgent that President Biden resolve these contradictions. Do we know the two, two questions for you? Do, do we know the country of origin? And then what is the shift or apparent shift in strategy to shooting these objects down? Um, I, no I don't idea. want to speculate about the first question. Uh, the second question, I, I think it's obvious. What happened two weekends ago is clear 
There's nothing more than meets the eye. China sent a spy balloon to America. We had our eyes on it. President Biden had a chance to shoot it down over the Aleutians. He chose not to, and it yeah, floated all waited. across America. And then finally shot it down off the East Coast. It, he delayed, and he's paying for it, right? That's the whole point. He could have taken action. He didn't take action. Now they're taking a ton of action to make up for the fact that they failed to take action the first go round. And now they're trying, oh no, we blow everything out of the sky, baby. You're like, yeah, but that was, that was, that was a bald eagle up there. Well, we didn't know if it was a Chinese bald eagle or not. So it had to go, you know, take it easy, everybody. But the first one, right, was the one that they really botched big time. And so now it's all, you know, fixing it after the fact, and it's pretty obvious. He took a lot of criticism from that, including criticism from senators in his own party, and, and therefore I think he didn't want to suffer that criticism again. What we should have done from the very beginning is, is shoot down the first balloon over the Aleutians. Look, we should not spend billions, probably tens or even hundreds of billions of dollars, you know, changing the way we protect our own airspace uh, against small, slow-moving objects. We have the capability in certain settings to detect those. What we should do is make it clear to countries like China and Russia that we will not permit it in the first place. That if it approaches our shores, we'll shoot it down and in the meantime impose consequences on it. Like say, banning TikTok from America, banning Chinese investment in sensitive areas, not letting Chinese diplomats, Chinese diplomats, by which I mean spies, enter America willy-nilly and travel all around our country. We have to reestablish fear in Beijing that America will stand up for our core national security interests. Just to clarify, just to clarify. Moment, you believe that this moment demands a presidential address? Yes, he needs to speak to the American people. Where's the president been? Justin Trudeau went out and spoke to the people of Canada over the weekend. I'm not saying he has to go to the Oval Office. I mean, he can go to the press room. He can do a press huddle on the South Lawn of the White House, but he needs to speak directly to the American people to answer their concerns and their interest in this matter. Is there any update on recovery efforts? Um, I don't want to get into the Talk to the military about it, says Tom, but it's a good question. The president has been pretty quiet about this, talked a little bit about it in the State of the Union. Otherwise, most of the uh, of the White House, is this has been delegated, right? John Kirby's been talking about it and others, but... This is a situation in the United States, even if you just zoom out on this thing objectively. Have we shot down other foreign craft over American skies before? Ever? In a situation like the continental U.S.? I don't think so. So it's been a new thing, right? And a lot of people have questions about it. And it feels like the military kind of screwed up a little bit. So I think Tom Cotton is exactly right. There should be some formal acknowledgement or conversation from the commander in chief. Because we see this continual escalation between the United States and China. Are we going that way or not? What's going on? Tom Cotton wants to know. And so do we. But of course, before we carry on and learn more from Chuck Schumer, it's always appropriate to make sure we have our energy up. And one way to do that is by getting your Field of Greens Real Organic Superfood. I have this stuff. I drink it. Here's it. My, my what is this called? Shaker from this morning. And it's very delicious. You can see the product right here. It's called Field of Greens. Absolutely delicious. You can go to fieldofgreens.com, save 15% with code Robert. Because as you know, we all want to lose some of those extra leftover pandemic pounds or Super Bowl pounds. Whatever they are, we want to get rid of them. And we all don't want to watch any of those weight loss ads or fad diet books or any of that stuff. We've all been there. We've all done that. And they don't work. But you know what does? Eating healthy, having your daily servings of fruits and vegetables every day with my friends over at Field of Greens. You do that, and I imagine the weight probably falls right off, but we've got vegetables, we've got fruit. Who's got time to prepare that every day? Instead, let's talk about Field of Greens. It's a science-backed formula of specific fruits and vegetables that you will not find in any other product. And it is been shown that proper nutrition reboots our metabolism. We can burn calories the faster and lose weight the healthier way. Field of Greens is the only brand backed by a better health promise. You're going to look healthier, feel healthier, but the best proof you're going to get is when you go to your doctor at the next visit and they say, wow, you've lost weight. Whatever you're doing, keep it up. And so let's get you started. Go to fieldofgreens.com. Don't forget to use code Robert so you can save 15% and you'll get this delicious real organic superfood delivered and you'll start feeling healthy and vibrant and extra green and you'll just be you'll feel like your follicles are just bursting out of your head with energy and it tastes good too so check it out all right now we turn our attention 
over to Chuck Schumer. The leader of the Democrats is also weighing in on the balloons. Here's the Senate leader. Question, is that, we good? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so let me just say this. We're learning more about these objects All right. and our ability to detect them hour by hour. Um, and what I can say is that our defense and intelligence agencies are focused like a laser on first gathering the information, uh, assessing the information, and coming up with... What kind of laser, Chuck? ...a comprehensive view to what is going on. They made it clear that there is no harm to uh, physical harm to Americans on the ground. No one has to worry about that. And the bottom line is, um, the I think the Biden administration is being very careful and very thoughtful. A lot of this information, people say, make it public, but a lot of it is classified or, or on the edge of classified, and it's difficult. I think some of our Republican colleagues are being at the very minimum premature mm. and often just very political. For what? How is it political to say a Chinese spy balloon shouldn't have flown over continental U.S.? There's a lot of information to assess. There's a lot of information to recover. And the administration is on top of this and done a very, very good job. All right. Biden's amazing. Everybody else is an idiot. OK, so now our final clip from the press briefing. Uh, this is what took place after the classified briefing occurred outside of the Senate. And this is a great clip from Senator Kennedy. Kennedy senator says that the balloons have been lost. Millie said that they were still recovering them, but this looks like maybe they don't even know where they are. What is your general assessment? Do you feel like there are answers? Here's, here's what I took away from the briefing. I love this guy. Many people, intentionally or otherwise, have been given He's the best. impression they are lost. They can't find them. The, the remnants are in very difficult terrain, low temperatures, uh, lots of inclement weather, and they're looking, but they haven't been able to find them. Yikes, they haven't been able to find them. They are looking, but they haven't been able to find them. What I took away from this briefing, balloons are gone. The objects are gone. Yeah, they shot them down. They know where they are at, like more or less in the area, but they haven't found them. And the journalist... To his left says, what are you, what, 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 hold on a minute, what? Are you saying they can't find the remnants? You said they can't find the remnants. Are you saying they're lost? He says, yeah, that's what I'm telling you, lady. Them down, but we're going to die. When you so said this is going to happen many times, are they lost? Are they, is the they're lost, thing? they can't find them. The, Gone. The remnants are in very difficult terrain, low temperatures. Bye. Uh, lots of inclement <laughs> weather, and they're looking, but they haven't been able to find them, except for these spy balloons. When you, you say there, the there's been the many... Not going to find them. Isn't that just the worst? Don't you hate that, man? Oh! It's hard to find balloons you shoot out of the sky. You know, it's very difficult. The nation. Well, I, I, th I think that given where we are and the impression that that this is some sort of uh, circumstances that's happened in the last couple of weeks. I think at, at a minimum, our director of, of national intelligence uh, should should go in front of the American people and explain what we know, what we don't know, without without uh, divulging any classified information. But this, it's clear to me, this is not a recent recent uh, ph phenomenon. So then why did they delay to shoot over this Chinese balloon? Why? If they've been studying this for so long, why they allow it to just float overhead? It's inconsistent. Do you think the administration waited until now to start bringing this to light? I don't this know. has been happening. I don't know. Roger Marshall said he feels it's like a fear mongering. It's intentional fear mongering. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, I that's exactly right. That, that go going into this, the last two hearings, I had the impression that this was uh, uh, something that that had happened over the last two weeks and it, that's not accurate this has been going on a long time do they give an explanation as to why they're shooting them down now why nope, they're deciding they did not yeah some are saying that it's a wagging of the dog to wagging of the dog approval rating i don't care to speculate on that i i just know that uh 
I do. I think that's exactly what this is. They don't want to talk about Ohio. They don't want to talk about inflation. They don't want to talk about Joe's classified document problem or Hunter or any of the other issues that they've got. So the Chinese sent a balloon over. All right. They totally botched the reaction on that. Then there's other objects that they have now plausible excuses for sh shooting out of the sky. Oh, we were just turning up the gain on the radar. They blow some other objects out of the sky. They declare victory. They say, yes, our military is in charge. We don't allow anything to fly over our skies. And we're blowing out little Timmy's project over the night skies every, you know, all the time, missing while they're trying to do it. So it feels like this is kind of like a PR uh, recovery effort in some way. And now they're saying, they're telling Kennedy, yeah, there's all sorts of balloons uh, flying overhead all the time. And then John Kirby says, it's also commercial, so it may not even be that big of a deal. And they're also telling the senators that they can't even find the remnants at the current moment. They are still trying to go dig them up wherever they are. And so are we going to see anything about this at all? Was this just all one big wag the dog moment so the military could regain control of a floundering narrative? Great question, journos. Kennedy doesn't want to speculate, but you know, the rest of us can. Um, we need some more transparency. I understand the need for, for national security secrets, but uh, now that this cow is out of the barn, uh, the president and the director of national intelligence needs to address it. Uh, they need to explain to the American people if they know, and I'm not sure they know, if they know they're not telling us, uh, what these things are, who put them up there, and do they pose a threat to the American people? And if the answer is no, how do they know that? They don't. That's why people were so upset with them. They're admitting that this Chinese spy surveillance balloon had not been seen before, it was all unknown, but then it's also simultaneously true that we were studying these things for several years and they know it's a spy balloon, but they let it float over our heads and now they're having a difficult time even recovering those because of rough waters and so on and so forth. Ridiculous. Um, What's your assessment? Do you feel like there's a threat? Le learning what you've just learned, do you feel like the threat level is low or not high? The only thing I feel confident saying right now is that, um, if you are confused, yeah. you understand the situation perfectly. Great. Good news. <laughs> Perfect. We're all confused. That's tremendous news. That means we all understand the situation perfectly, which is exactly right because it is entirely inconsistent. So absolutely true from our friend, Senator Kennedy. And I saw this tweet from Edward Snowden. You remember him. He's the guy currently living in Russia who is... The whistleblower who revealed all sorts of government nefariousness in the United States, he posted this on his Twitter account talking about the balloon saga. He said the following, one, it's not aliens. I wish it were aliens, but it's not aliens. I'm kind of in his boat too. Aliens would have been a more interesting story. But he says it's just the old engineered panic an attractive nuisance ensuring that national security reporters get assigned to investigate balloon BS rather than budgets or bombings a la the Nord Stream pipeline. Until next time, they'll just continue to do it. So also have Nord Stream and the story that Joe Biden and the White House may have facilitated the destruction of the pipeline there as many of us here predicted a long time ago. It's the only thing that made sense. So there were other senators that were trying to avoid the cameras. One of them was our friend Lindsey Graham, who usually doesn't avoid the cameras. For some reason, he didn't have time to stop today. <laughs> That's not him. Lindsey comes down the road. Here he is. Real quick, real quick. Look at her. They say, wow. They say, wow. They say, wow. He didn't even talk to us. And look at this poor journo, man. She's trying to literally block Lindsay. I mean, that's pretty dang impressive. I mean, literally like a full wall and Lindsay just motors on by her. Man, pretty good. It's pretty impressive there. All right. So he doesn't want to answer any questions about it. Let's watch it one more time. So we can see Lindsay scoot on in. 
Okay, here he comes. Get him. Wow, she says. Wow. <laughs> All right, so that's Graham. And I have to refresh because I closed the screen too fast. All right, so we're doing that now. And of course, that was Lindsey Graham. All of that was after the intelligence briefing took place in the Senate. Our final clip is from Mitch McConnell, who is part of the Senate. He's the, the leader of the Senate for the Republicans, but he was not, my understanding, a part of the classified briefing. And we lovingly call Mitch here, Cocaine Mitch. I don't actually think he does cocaine. I had several comments after the last Cocaine Mitch segment. They said he doesn't really do cocaine, you know. The Cocaine Mitch story comes from one of his, I think, primary opponents who called him Cocaine Mitch on the campaign trail. And I think it's hilarious because the guy clearly doesn't do cocaine because he has the energy of a turtle. But the last time we played a clip of Mitch McConnell, I was calling him Cocaine Mitch and he sniffed. <laughs> he did a sniff right before he started speaking. And so that's why we, it was just, you know, it had to stick with us. So he may or may not be on cocaine is the moral of the story. Let's listen. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, I want to make a few observations about the president's. And we love Mitch because he gets so angry. You know, he doesn't speak much, but when he does, you better listen up. You hear everybody shushing the crowd. Listen, he starts to speak. He's like a mob boss. Everybody around him, shut up, shut up. He's going to murder you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, I want to make a few observations about the president's leadership with regard to national security and defense. All right. Come on, cocaine mix. We Let's go. We witnessed last week uh, the president basically watching the balloon go all across America. Yeah. Had very little uh, to say about it at the time, only passing reference <laughs> to the episode in the State of the Union. He is the slowest human. And if you look beyond to the, to the way the president deals with defense and foreign policy, you saw that it was de-emphasized in the State of the Union. All right, somebody give him some cocaine. Very little reference to this whole area that we're confronting in Ukraine and, of course, with China. So begin to look at the details. The defense request last year was below inflation. All right, just cut a line we for him the right there. Just put one out here. Here you go, Mitch. Disaster from Afghanistan. Let's go. Come on, Mitch. On Ukraine, generally getting to the right position but not doing it soon enough thereby making it more difficult for the Ukrainians to defend themselves. And no reference at all in the State of the Union. That's true. To Iran, yeah. to North Korea, or to the larger challenges from the PRC. So I think it is deeply disturbing that the president put all of his emphasis on things that were unrelated to the very serious threats that we're all confronting here, not only in Ukraine, not only in Asia, but even with balloons flying over our skies. Um, I think the American people deserve to hear more from the president That's on true. all of these issues, and hopefully we will in the coming days. That's right. Mitch is right about that. All right, so a little bit uh, slower on the uh, conversation there today from Mitch McConnell, but very interesting day. A lot of new takes from the senators all coming out of the classified briefing. Apparently, the balloon is lost. And so we, of course, will continue to follow. Thank you for subscribing wherever it is you're watching, and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.